Today we'll be talking about our military service members, veterans, and their families, and providing support for their substance use and mental health problems. No longer are military families isolated, and no longer should people who have served in the military only be either in military communities. We really have to embrace them as a national community in our neighborhoods, in our schools, and in that way, I think, we show our respect for the work that they've done, and in fact, we want to embrace and be joyful about their service, and at the same time, as they leave the military, help them become the civilian members of the community that they can. Families are the backbone of the military. You know, a lot of veterans who come home who have mental health conditions don't realize it. The spouses and the children are the first to realize that they're, they're a changed person. All of a sudden, you're not a soldier. You're put back in the civilian environment where not only you don't understand where you belong, but society doesn't understand where you belong either. So you, it, the dynamic is very interesting when you're watching it. Uh, I'd like to think that our nation owes an obligation to the veteran, but also our nation also owes an obligation to the family members because they both serve this nation in, in times of war. And we need to make it clear to the family that we recognize that that sacrifice that they've made it has been a major sacrifice.